Sir Baker Brothers bid on the sand. Now, think of us as the sand to the main shows, Jemima. They might offer us ten grand to do a big spread together, but there's no way we're doing it. No way. We ain't that cheap. Are <laughs> 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 you cheeky, Rega? It's Friday night. It's day sixteen, and it's the second eviction of the series. <laughs> tonight's panel and what a lineup we have got. First up, she's the fire breathing DJ and glamour model who last week you sent back to the high street, high street, high street is Sally Axel. Next, it's the former goat herder turned exotic dancer, oh, wow. turned X back to singing sensation. It's the one, it's the only. Don't worry, I won't ask him what time it is. It's Chico. What time is it? Cheek or time? I ain't even got a watch on, I don't know why I'm looking. Um, <laughs> and finally, a lady who appeared in the very first Celebrity Big Brother, where in her own words, she was incarcerated, disparate, um, and frustrated. That was her spelling, not mine. Uh, we're hoping she feels a little bit more comfortable on our panel. It's professional table scribbler, Vanessa Fell. <laughs> Right, it's eviction numero duh, and Jemima has been kicked out of the house, so we should get stuck right in. Are you alright? Yeah. Oh, you look great. So do you. Vanessa. Lovely to meet you. Oh, lovely to meet you, lady in red. <laughs> um, did the right person go? Oh, yes. Yeah, the right person definitely went. Being a fan of Jemima, I wasn't a fan. You know, she could have been a bit sweeter, yeah, a bit nicer. Instead, she was uh, she was prickly, she was difficult, she was acerbic. She somehow managed to be quite unpleasant and fairly boring at the same time. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> that was something of an achievement. She told fibs, and I think the central problem with the whole thing was she is not a hairdresser, so she was lying yes, all the time. Not a and if you're lying all the time, you can never be yourself. And if you can never be yourself, you're always going to be on edge and weird. And that's why she's out. Wow! Yeah. What? Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, Vanessa uh, really did uh, sum it up quite well, but Chico... Don't really tell how you feel. <laughs> yeah. um, why did Dexter survive and not Jamal? I have absolutely no idea, because personally I think he should have gone. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think that... Yeah. I, I think the two... I think the two people... <laughs> I think the two, the two right people were in the bottom two, yeah. but I think he should have definitely gone because he's less genuine than she is. At least, oh, even, yes. even if you don't like what she's about, she's actually quite honest about yeah, it. Other than the is. fact that she's a hairdresser. She's not a hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> but but at least what you see is what you get, and what with him is just, I'm not into, as she would oh, say. you're not into it. All right, then. No. Sally, um, <laughs> is there anything Jemima could have done to keep herself in that house? No, it seems to me that the gobby girls go first, obviously. Oh. But no, um, I maybe think she, she should, should have buttoned it. But maybe she should have stopped having Hitler's regime on kitchen patrol. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ almighty. But I think Dexter should have went because he's, he's just planting different seeds in every single week to try and keep himself in here. And I tell you what, it's growing. His seeds are growing, aren't they? I hope they're not growing too it. much, though. Jesus Christ, no more Dexters in the world, <laughs> no please. More Dexter, but no, he's, he's fascinating, though. Dexter. He's intriguing. Yeah. He's downright weird. Would we like to see a picture of him in stockings? Kind of. <laughs> sort of. I wouldn't mind seeing it, would you? I mean, he's kind of intriguing. He's and there's something to him. It may all be a load of lies. It may not, but we want to know more, We want don't to we? know. Yeah. Well, let's take a peek and see how the house is coping with, Jim with Jemima's departure. <laughs> God, I need a drink. So, a drink? Anyone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how she'd been portrayed as just a She was so nice, and I was like, you know, I, well, I don't think Monday night helped her. The way she treated you, that, didn't, that wouldn't have helped her. No, that wouldn't have helped her at all. Maybe they showed that. Yeah, just to make you know. Did I, would I, did I do anything wrong? No. No, she wasn't. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even worried that I did. And that I, you know, I confronted her. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I'm not worried about that. I feel sorry for her. You don't, want to, you don't want to go out to that, do you? But no. But in the day... Is already speculating. Shocker. Can I just say there's a dragonfly on the loose and we're all fighting for our lives? <laughs> we're all fighting for our lives. Um, who is happy that Jemima's gone? Yes. Oh, I've got a loud yes over here. Why? I'm glad 
glad she went because she, like, I don't, I just don't like the way she perceives herself. The whole Sam thing is pure creeping me out, I'm not going to lie. I couldn't watch but, her no, with Sam much, no more. Man. So it's not right, like, it's just, it creeps me out. But on the other hand, she did cause a bit of drama, so it's good to watch. And Dexter is a bit, bit boring, isn't he? Like, don't well, <laughs> well, there you go. Who is um, going to be sad to see Jemima go? <laughs> <laughs> no one. Um, I'm sad to see her go because I think that was a lovely gold dress. There you go. That was a lovely, that was a lovely dress. dress. There you go. You'll never see that gold dress again. It's a <laughs> <laughs> um, Vanessa, yes. back to tonight, Shaw. Sure. Uh, did you see Wolfie have a whole hoo ha tonight? About the word F. Yeah. F word. <laughs> About the F bomb. The F bomb. Yeah, well, I mean, Wolfie's a. Um, Wolf is an interesting character. Yeah, Let's put I'd it that love way. To know what you she, think well, about she, she's, Wolfie. Well, Wolfie is, is combative, prickly, difficult, sometimes quite aggressive, definitely very assertive, and then she crumbles. Yeah, but Doesn't she like a wet tissue? I don't know what happens. Just something, anything sets her off. You say one word of criticism, she's sobbing and weeping all over the place. Yeah, she... And I mean, I think, I think that every woman, thin, fat, whatever, is entitled to say, oh, God, I've put on a few pounds. Exactly. I feel fat. Yeah. Without everybody else being yeah. deeply offended, mortified and sobbing all over the place. Get a grip, I, I Wolfie. Yeah, I think Wolfie's got to get, get it together. Yeah, get a grip. But also, no. you've got to understand that Wolfie, that's not the first time. It's not just about the fat issue. I've got a, a, a big lady, and trust me, when you've got a skinny person... <laughs> uh, uh, when, you, when you've got a skinny... I love her to bits. When you've got a skinny person, you, uh, and this one's a size 18, this one's a size 10, it's going, oh, I feel so fat. And you think, shut up. Exactly. You're not fat. So right. she's right in that. But also, at the same time, she was given the ugly card. Exactly. But right. not only was she given thought by the audience, she, it's the whole country thinking you're that. Yeah. So she's had that. Her so confidence she's is down. Really and insecure. now anything else is just... And Vanessa, you know, and I don't think it's right. You know, really I, really I, I think right Wolfie there. is standing for all the big size girls. And you know what? Swervy, Good curvy. Size, yeah. Yeah. Size, yeah. Size, yeah. Size, yeah. Size, yeah. Do we think? Let's be, let's be genuine here, right? I love Wolfie. We call her the people's princess on this show, right? <laughs> but... Was she overreacting yeah. a little yeah. bit? Yeah. 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 No, she really? I think she's ruined it for herself because she was one of my favourites. But, you know, she shouldn't have a go at other people. If they want to feel bad, just let them. Everyone has, you know, Everyone's different... Everyone's got the right yeah. to feel yeah. But I think she is yeah, actually ruining for herself. Say. And I do yeah. like her and I want the her to is, though, be happy. The accentuates your insecurities. So yeah. she's just look. She's putting a guard up. She's yeah. just protecting herself. And Charlie yeah. wins all the time about everything just yeah. for a little bit of attention. So, Jesus, no wonder she went again. Well, she's just been voted the most unattractive person. She feels insecure about that. And I just, she's I had a bit of a mare, let's be fair. She ain't had the best lovely, time this so. week. Well, listen. All right, we get it. We strong, get it. strong bit of chitty chat <laughs> there, people. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> You lot know what you should be doing uh -huh. right about now, sir. Everyone get up on your feet, please. Get up, get up. Get up. Get Stand up. up. On your get feet, up. on your get feet. Up. Please, be upstanding for the Queen of Big Brother. It's Who the is one. It? It's the only... Mrs Emma Willey! <laughs> Yet again, looking fit. Yeah, as, you like as are you two. Well, we know, but well, we thanks. always look fit. Sometimes <laughs> you don't. Um, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. The second eviction show. I know. How was it? A bit easier than last week? <laughs> <laughs> Just slightly, Sammy. <laughs> um, do you know what? As I said, last week was a bit of a baptism of fire with our Sally Axel over there. <laughs> um, this week was totally different, actually, because Jemima was... I felt so sorry for her yeah. because yeah. she was genuinely terrified. Harsh when hard. we walked in uh, during the commercial break, she, you know, she had tears in her eyes oh. and she was really, she was like, I don't understand what have I done, I don't yeah. understand. Yeah. It's it's just kind of for anyone. Then. Exactly. And, I, you know, I, I really felt for her. You know, so. she seemed really surprised that she got the boot. Were you surprised? Um, judging by the crowd's reaction tonight, every time we mention Trevic Dexter... Ah, terrific, Jemima. Boo! Yeah. Well, where did it uh, all go wrong for her? Where I'm did it all go wrong? You know, I think the arguments with Dan haven't helped, especially this week with, you know, Jackie and Charlie Travers, that whole argument. Um, 
You know, as, as Sally said earlier, you know, it's the controversial ones that always seem to go first. Yeah, this is and, a, oh, you know, is Dexter thing. is kind of, we haven't seen a lot from him this week. We have seen the change in the house, though, this week since Sally has gone. Obviously, she was quite a dominating character in the yeah, house. Yes, absolutely. How do you think it's going to change now that Jemima's gone? I don't really think it's going to change at all. Really? Really? <laughs> no, but she has. No. You know, two favourite characters, Sally. Sally one. has made a big difference, yes. And then I, everyone I, else got to argue. And then Jemima, is everyone going to be cool, calm and collected uh, now? Probably. <laughs> maybe we'll have a happy fun house. I don't... I don't, I know, it's, not. It's I don't really want a happy fun house. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe Dexter's going to step back up to the plate again and start causing right, a bit of controversy. Bit back but then we've seen, you know, Wolfie's started a little uh, bit tonight. What did you think about that tonight? Um, I mean, she did... I thought, as I was listening up there, as you were talking about mm. it, and as, as Vanessa said, you know, everybody, no matter what your size, feels sometimes like you're having a fat day. Yeah. And she didn't say, if you listen to it back, she didn't say, oh, I'm so fat. She said, oh, I feel fat. Yeah. Like, she said, I feel it. And every woman has that. Do you know what I mean? And, and I don't think... I don't think Charlie did anything wrong. And I, I think, do you know I think Wolfie really jumped on that yeah. for a reason, really. But Charlie has put a foot in it. Or she the has. in it, rather. And she puts her foot in it all the time. All the time. The time. Charlie Travers, daughter uh, of Jackie Travers, what more do we expect? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you, do, do you listen, do you think that this week that Wolfie and Charlie could potentially be in a bit of danger with face-to-face? -face? Um... Mm. I, I did kind of think Charlie might start to be in trouble soon, yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't... It's really hard to tell, you know. And also, will they nominate honestly? Or I will they nominate will tactically? You know what? I'm going to say this one. Or will they uh, have the kind of, a, like, oh, I think I you're think the strongest the and you can handle year, it like a few? I think this is the first you know, year that really nice. they're not going to give a toss about anyone else. And I think when it comes down to face-to-face -to -face on Monday night, live, they're going to know that they're live. They're going to think, I think they're all a little bit like Sally at the end of the day. They're just going to go, do you know what? I'm this is my you know moment. what? Looking at them, looking at their pictures now, I, I think you're right. I don't think any of them really will hold back. I think they're all quite honest and don't, don't mind about speaking their mind. Yeah. Are you excited about the face-to-face -face nominations? Oh, I Monday? love face-to-face oh, nominations. Love it. I'm so jealous I'm not here on Monday for it. Oh, oh, that's oh, what no. you get your part time on. <laughs> uh, well, Em, thank you so much. You're looking good as ever. We will see you next I week. I love you too. I love you. Yeah. We love you. Get up, Emma Willie. So to come, Rylan and I will be sinking our tea, his massive tea, Shut into up. the latest evicting from the house. Plus, Gina has a case of verbal diarrhoea. Nice. Oh. Uh, we'll catch you in five. See you in a bit. <laughs> Five. Now, we're just like Dexter. We hope you sat at home in a pair of stockings getting off to us. <laughs> and that's how we like it, just really saucy so like that. <laughs> uh, now, tonight saw Jemima get the chop, but I wonder what's happening in there right now. Let's have a goosey gander. It's time for an exclusive. Put your shoes on for nothing. <laughs> they haven't told me I can collect my stuff as well, that's why I'm like... Oh, well. Yeah, they will. They will. I haven't done it, that's why, so... Jesus, that was not a good reception, though. I felt so sorry for her. Uh, no one, no one deserves to go out to booze. No one. Yeah. The thing is, though, and we all keep saying it, they don't, they don't live with her or anyone 24 hours no, a day. No, that's in the here. thing. So we see the bad know. side of everyone and the good side of everyone. Yeah. But I personally, I never had a bad word with her. So I can't see the action, but they obviously saw something oh, yeah. different. Mm -hmm. They make the first one that goes to their is, oh, I wonder what, what I'm being portrayed as. Do you know what I mean? And you shouldn't do, because you should just be yourself, but you can't help but think mm. it, can you? Mm -mm. But it makes you remember to make every day in here count. Well, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Because you just don't know. Every minute. You know, yeah. that if I am here for another week, that that's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. That's the worst feeling in the whole world. There you go. Take every second count, every minute. you will miss it when you're not in that house, believe me. Uh, <laughs> well, that's how the house is dealing with their loss. Uh, but how's Jemima bearing up? We're going to find out in just a minute.
but here's her worst fit. Mm. Fifteen days ago, Jemima made her dramatic entrance and wasted no time showing her wild side. I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. Probably look at Moppy. Are we going to get a hoover at any time? Men wanted her. You mean my winky expand? <laughs> I'd rather sexually be with somebody who's got a lot more experience. Women wanted to be her. Jemima, thank you for the lovely pasta. Yeah, Jemima. Here's to Jemima. Thank you, Jemima. Here's to Jemima. 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 But before long, she was facing some of the most extreme dilemmas ever. There's no milk or sugar. How are we going to make tea in the morning? On day 11, Jemima was put up for eviction by... Callum. And... Gina. And... Wolfie. And... Charlie. And... Daly. In a world of intrigue... Oh, fuck off. In a hotbed of conflict... Dan is fucking two-faced. In an arena of rivalry. You clearly have no class. Sorry? You clearly have no class. Sorry? You clearly have no class. Sorry? One woman would do what it takes to survive. I've got tea, I don't need to eat. But in the end... I just can't be bothered. Jemima's dream of winning Big Brother... <laughs> ...was over. What time am I getting my case? And that's a good worst bit to be there. <laughs> uh, she's the SVP lookalike who was carried I away. Like that. <laughs> Car oh, they're getting worse by the day. Uh, she was carried away from a Big Brother experience. Please welcome Jemima! You look absolutely. I'm saying you are absolutely breathtaking tonight. What, uh, guys? Doesn't she look absolutely? You do. You I want that dress. I want that dress. So do I. Um, now, <laughs> <laughs> welcome. You know, you're out of the house, but from one home to another, eh? Right? Welcome. Um, now Thank you. you had the least amount of nominations. I know. But yet you got the boo. What went wrong? I really don't know. I mean, everyone in the house tonight really thought I was going to stay. Yeah. I think there's about two people that really wanted Dexter to stay. So I think they were all really, really shocked and when I left. And what about you? Did you think and you were going to stay? It was like 50-50. You just never really know, you, you know? You just don't know. And I could never explain being in the house in one sentence what yeah. it's like. It's really tough. It's really intense. Um, and the days are so long, yeah. you know. They... Once in a lifetime opportunity. Oh God, and absolutely, you've lived it. yeah, you've lived absolutely. It. I'm so pleased I did it. Really, so pleased I did it. Was I've you... met some great people was in there. Was you not surprised though that Gina was saved on Wednesday? I think everyone was because she <laughs> had she had sort of the second most votes, yeah. you know, nominations from from the housemates. So. But I think she started to come out of her shell a little bit. Yeah, yeah, last... turn around yeah, last yeah, week, yeah. Because she does spend a lot of time in bed, I must admit. And she, <laughs> and she spends a lot of time doing her makeup. Yeah. She We're really sitting. does. We know. We she's know. We full... feel for you, Jane. We she's, know what yeah. it's like. She's done a full face of makeup before you've even woken up in the morning. Yeah. She's been in the toilet. Right. How, Good did luck she... to How did she do it? Now, Good did your position her. in the house change, do you think, when the other housemates came in on the second night? She went to um, face night. Not warm. really. I mean, I sort of, I did a lot of the cooking and I really enjoyed doing the cooking. And a lot yeah. of people appreciated my cooking. You know, the twins were devastated tonight. They're like, you know, we're going to lose weight now <laughs> before you've even gone out. I feel well, like I've lost weight. But, but the thing but is, talking about the cooking and stuff like that, you, you were, um, like AJ just said, on the first night, you were the oldest housemate in there. Yeah, um, yeah. And then Jackie Travers arrived the following, yeah. following night and she sort of took that matriarch role off of you, if you like. Did you see her as a bit of a bit of a rival in a way because Absolutely of the age? Absolutely not. No, no, not at all. Jackie and myself sort of got on quite well in the kitchen and stuff. I mean, I don't know how she felt, but I didn't feel, you know, at all offended or f feel like she was a rival. We, yeah. we worked together yeah. on the dishes. We discussed what we were going to do because obviously we were on basic rations. I've never turned <laughs> so many dishes out of... Were you happy? Out of pizza and tomatoes. Yeah. yeah. You know, hey, I've, you never made, I've never you made bread before. <laughs> and I'll, I'll definitely take that away. If, you know, I'll definitely hey, be making bread at home. Jemima, the bread maker, 
is <laughs> let on the loose. And, there you go. and you know, the way to a man's heart sometimes they, they say yeah. is through his belly. Um, so let's talk about that romance because you said you'd be well up for it before oh, you know, went into yes. the house. But there was no really, no one really sort of eligible. Really? Oh, what about Sam? Oh no, he's not no. He's what do young. you mean, right? Right, to buy my Do not even go there, right? Don't even go there, right? So we the clicked, first night, we clicked on the first night. We really did click. And like, you tried to pucker up to him. Did I? I yes. Yeah. Drunk. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Where was that? First night. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I must have been drunk. We you know what? Well, they Sally, won't Sally mixed the bloody drinks, yes, right? She did. Sally, it's all your fault. Cut she mixed out. the wine and the cider together in in the jug. Don't and I, to my mate. It's all so good. Oh, listen, no, I've I got was, someone who wants to speak to you. I was not well Jemima, by the end of the night. I've got too. someone who wants to speak to you. Um, um, on the line, I believe we've got Sam's friend Matthew. Hello, Matthew. Hello, Sam. How are you? You okay? Yeah, good. Thank you. I'm good, thank you, Matthew. What did you make of? Uh, she might have splashed him. Well, basically, I think uh, she should be a little bit embarrassed by her antics towards Sam, seeing as she's been a clingy, as she's a lot older what? than him. Well, basically, what? But, well, you uh, said that you should I be think a little Sam's bit embarrassed. I think Sam's having a bit of uh, friendly, flirty banter and trying to act a bit of a... But in, in in Matthew, in Jemima's defence, don't you think Sam was yeah. giving it back to her? Yeah. Big time. Yeah, yeah, I think he was just uh, being a bit of a lad and a bit of flirty banter, to be honest. Bit of flanter, but I'm very like flirt I'm a very flirty person anyway. I'm a very flirtatious person anyway. On the outside world, that is how yeah. I am. Yeah. You know, and and I you think... showed that on the inside as well, babe. <laughs> you did. You and did. I think he perceived it in, in the wrong way. Yeah, well, he really enough. did. And he actually admitted tonight, I spoke to him briefly before I left, and he said, it's all my fault, I'm sorry. Aww. Well, that, hopefully so, they get to see that tomorrow So, you night. know, and... And I think he did perceive it in, in a wrong way because he is young. Yeah. yeah, we did. There was a click, yeah. Well, look, but I would never go enough. into a romance with Sam. I really wouldn't. OK, yeah. well, that's what Matthew had to say about the relationship. But let's hear it from the horse's mouth. <laughs> I heard that you um refusing to give uh, Jemima a massage. Is that true? Yeah, that is true. Why can you because tell... Because she keeps asking me to do it then. Are you in love with Jemima? No, I bloody not. She's you in are. love with me. You're going... Don't lie, Sam. Ah, oh, no, Jan. I've heard things that you might be in love with Jemima. <laughs> Don't fucking fill my legs what? up. What's that? M-I-L-F? <laughs> no! No. Go listen to him. We all know the score. I'm not in love with Jemima. He is. No, <laughs> not <laughs> yet. Not <laughs> yet. He's my friend. What so do you think, about you think that? of that? My lovely Sophie. I love her so much. She's great. Um, no, he... Well, he actually asked me for a massage in quarantine. Yeah. And we were in the quarantine. I don't know if that got shown. Yeah. yeah. But, no... I mean, I just saw him as a boy mate because I've got so many boy mates on the outside, and yeah, I really you did say that a lot. To be fair, that you I were do. really pally I with do. boys I've on the outside. I do. I do. I get on well with you know one of but my girl mates was here tonight, and she's been friends with me for like, twenty years. Yeah. And I probably count on my hands the amount of girl mates. Yeah. If I get into a relationship with anyone, they would have to accept that I do get on really well with with guys. Mm. With guys. And yeah. and I, that's how I clicked with Sam on the inside. If he's perceived it as something different, then I'm sorry, and I did apologise him to him tonight before I left. You know, just in case I did go, I did say to him. I'm I'm sorry if, I think if, you, so, if you perceived there. it in the wrong way and if I felt, you, you know, if you felt uneasy by me or by any of my actions, then I apologise. I think that's a very Get dignified answer Get to be fair. I really, really do. Um, so, housemates are going to face... Um, housemates are going to have face-to-face -face nominations on Monday. Who do you think they're going to go for? Um, probably Dexter again. <laughs> do you think so? Do you not think they'll, they should be, um, they'll be a bit more tactical this time? Well, he got ten Dexter... nominations the last time, didn't he? Yeah, what can so, change in a week, eh? You know, and I really do, of everybody in there, I really think he's playing the game. Who, if, you yeah. really if, think... if you were still in, though, who would you have nominated? Probably Dexter again, because he made me feel quite uneasy with some of his yeah. sexual yeah. innuendos. You know, he said he's got a girlfriend. Who else? I know. And, you know, when, I f when they all, all the guys came down, I thought, you know, I did actually think Dan, uh, Dan was really good looking and cute. And then he, I realised he, he wouldn't be into me at all when he spoke. When he got to the bottom step, I thought, oh shit. <laughs> and then, <laughs> you know, because be obviously second. I was looking to meet someone. And, and I thought Daly was really good looking, but then yeah. he said he's, he had a girlfriend, so I would never go there. So yeah. who, who, but, would you be your, who would be your second then out of all of them? Second nomination. Oh, second nomination. So first probably, well, uh, Callum. Callum. 100% oh, really? Callum. Callum and Callum. Wow. Callum, 100%. I'm going to be honest, obviously, you haven't seen the show on the outside, but we're only just starting to see a bit of Callum Callum now. does a lot of trying to be nicey-nicey to everybody so that nobody 
takes a, you know, nobody dislikes him. Yeah. And I think he's just trying to keep it up. He fancies Charlie 100%. Yes, he does. He really fancies he's Charlie 100%. He's admitting it in, in the And that's, that's a bit like the relationship between me and Sam, the way that Callum and Charlie are. Charlie's just come out of a relationship. I had some deep conversations with her, so I'm quite upset that she nominated me. Oh, Jemima but, Ellison, I've got to stop you there because we've got to go to a break, but we're going to get a lot more chat off of you in a yeah. minute. Yeah, so get it up for Jemima, everyone. <laughs> now, right. That's it for part two. Still to come, we'll be heading to the farm room to take your call. Plus, our wonderful panel and audience will be having a good old go on Jemima as well. Oh, we certainly will. Uh, giddy up. Catch you in a more. See you later. bit on the side. Think of us as the Callum to the main show's Charlie. Always there with the offer of a hug, but forever getting denied. <laughs> I'm alright, I'm alright. It's exclusive time. Check this out. You're so honourable. <laughs> I can't, I, I can't even begin to describe it because I was so certain that I was going. So I was, I was literally in utter, utter shock. I mean, I'm so relieved and I'm so thankful that I've got another week to experience this. And you know, and hopefully change a few people's minds about what they think of me. And that, that means a lot to me. I'm getting a few sort of bad vibes from Gina. I don't know whether it's something to do with the secret task or the, the tape that she was, watched, I'm not too sure. But, um, but yeah, I mean, Daly was happy, a few of the boys are happy, but it wasn't, you know, not a lot of people have said, well done for staying. So, but that's obviously because, you know, they all put me up for eviction, so. And they like Jim's food. So, I mean, I, you know, I like Jem's food as well, and I don't. I don't have. I didn't have a real problem with her. I never had a, a row with her or, or anything like that. So, but I'm. I'm just so thankful um, to the public, and thank you. Well, Dexter liked your food, didn't they? Very complimentary about the food, though. I know, I know. I'm well, there you go. You did say the cook. Uh, right, phone room time, and Jemima and I are ready to take your call. Sorry, so get. Sorry, um, I'm just going to say this once. If I hear any of you say wash your chat, my lawyer's going to be on the phone to your agent, all right? <laughs> With your hair and your weave. You robbing <laughs> bitch! <laughs> Thieving bitch! Are you all right? Okay, who's on my run? Got yeah, the wrong side of the bed. Hi, Jay from Birmingham. Hi, how you doing? You right? Where you at? Right, uh, on the subject of conspiracies in the house, uh, I don't believe that Jack and Joe are really twins. I think they're, they're actually actors wearing fat suits. Uh, really? <laughs> oh, no, you really huge. think that? Are they really twins, Jemima? Of course you know. they're twins. They think alike, they speak alike. They look alike. They look alike. Yeah. They're, they're really funny characters, but when they are separated, they're actually, you know, not as strong, and when they're together, they're like a double act, but well, separated... Well, there you go. Are you happy with that twins. answer, Jay? Yeah, that's, that's great, yeah. That, that's yeah. adequate, isn't it? Thank you. Uh, thanks, Jay. Next. We've got Nathan from Sunbury. Nathan from Sunbury. Hello. Hello. Where you Hello. at? Oh, well, 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 I just wanted to say a quick shout out. Uh, can I just say, get right in to say hello to my friend Gemma, please, quickly. <laughs> He's not here, mate. It's me. You oh, sausage. No. Oh, no. Oh, well. Anyway, hello, Jemima. Maybe um, next time. I'm here. The crowd were horrible to you, Jemima. I just want to I say know. you look lovely. Oh, thank you, darling. Right, come no on, worries. come on. Keep it going. Uh, my question for you now is, uh, you were victimised quite a lot in the house. Uh, now you're gone. Do you reckon they're going to get a new target? A new target? Oh, definitely, yeah, definitely. They're probably already yeah. working on it, to be honest. I mean, Who's going to be bullseye? Dan, Dan keeps busy by targeting people, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, he does. He He's a very strong character, and Dan and myself had this love-hate. We spoke about it all the time. We had this love-hate relationship, yeah. and uh, and we just clashed. We're just strong personalities. We clashed, but do you know what? We made up the next day. We really did, and we, and still, and we still would get on well, and he was really upset tonight. He kept looking at me. He looked yeah. like he wanted to cry and everything, oh. so, you know. All right, yeah. Nathan, we've got to go. But I'll give you, whoever needs a shout out a shout out, even though I'm not an island. I could do that. <laughs> shout out. Shout out. See ya. <laughs> Who's next? <laughs> um, next up is Helen from North Wales. Oh, Helen. Dear. Helen. <laughs> Hello, AJ. Hello, Jemima. Oh, Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. This is going to be about Sam. Smashing. Where are you at? That's Where am I at? Well, I just want to talk about the legend Jackie Travers. 
because <laughs> I just want confirmation from Jemima that she is as brilliant as she's coming across to us, the view in public, because I just think she is given the more mature lady a really good representation wow. and good on wow. her. And does Jemima feel the same? Good to yeah. Time. You know, Jackie was Jackie was a really good character. I got on really well with Jackie. We did a lot of the cooking together, and uh, and we bonded. And she really struggled in the quarantine, and I was there for her. You know, when she went to leave, she did was you crying. See dance? And, did you see a dance? Yeah, she's a brilliant dancer. <laughs> she really is. But you know. Uh, She's good at her dancing, but she often mentions, you know, some people were saying there was ulterior motives why I went in there. I do think she's got slight ulterior motive of why she's gone in there, because she keeps oh. mentioning what she wants to do when she comes out a oh, lot. she doesn't want to hear this. So, you know, but she's, she, no, she's a great, she's a great go girl. She really is. She really is lovely. There you oh, go. Are you happy? <laughs> you still oh, happy? Great. All right, Helen. Oh, thank you, AJ. <laughs> See ya. Have a good night. Okay, watch it. Uh, right, that's all we have time for uh, tonight. But I wonder what's been going on in the house. Have you lot got any ideas? No. 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 Well, luckily I do. Uh, so here's an exclusive. Oh. Ben, like, you've caught up with Jen here when you said that story, yeah. Yeah, that was Jen, yeah. I felt it was. I mean, I've, you cried, you just went, yeah. It's like a... Was that? Oh, Dexter. Oh, oh, Dexter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's like yeah, earlier on I said, like, does, yeah, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt now, because he's recognised his faults, he's recognised the mistakes he made coming in, and now he's, it's his chance now to show us all that he is... I mean, Daddy says he had a chat with Dexter early on, so he feels that he believes that about Dexter anyway. But now it's Dexter's chance to show us the real Dexter. Yeah. And, it, and I've said this to him, I'll say, say it again, and um, I'm interested to get to know him a bit more and see oh, how, how he goes. I mean, oh, yeah, because none of us even heard it because we weren't allowed to like, bring it up again. Yeah, I know, he did, didn't he? Yeah. And even last night, when, or the night before, really? when, when they had, on Wednesday night, when, when Gina was, was saved, and then, yes. and then when Dex, no, Daily, D Dexter just said, uh, let's pick each other up, whatever, and then yeah. Jemima yeah, no, put was, it, picked her against Dexter by saying, well, Dexter's this and that, and I'm not, and that wouldn't have helped her either. There you go. Dan is still having his theory times. Uh, right, it's Q&A time now. So first up, let's go over to the gorgeous Sally. Sally, what's your question for um, Jemima? Oh, Hi, Jemima. <laughs> so, you know, you're a bit of a cougar at the minute. And um, do you do not think it's a bit disgusting the way you went with Sam and you're a lot older? Ooh. And also how his mum would feel? Because if it was my son, I'd kind of want to parachute in and get him out. <laughs> <laughs> Parachuting again. You know, Sam, we clicked on the first night and I didn't see it as that. I really didn't. And he seemed to have perceived it as something different. To me, he was just like one of my boy mates, like I have on the outside, which I've said many times. You did take him to the treehouse, Jemima. Jemima. If he that was when you mixed the drinks. Oh, it's not really. Stop talking about getting drunk. It's a family show. It's not really. <laughs> um, Jemima, if he, was, if he did go in for a kiss with you... What if you've done it? Yeah. Yeah. Be honest, in, come on. In that treehouse, you would. I don't think there's anything. Probably when Sally it. spiked my drink, because I didn't really know what I was doing the rest of the night. What did she spike it with? Potatoes? <laughs> Lentils. I don't know. know. Chickpeas or Chico, something. Chico, what about you, babe? What's Christmas um, tomorrow? Um, about Dexter, what did you think of him crying uh, when he what? got saved? Or his tears, or what his tonight? Crocodile tears, crocodile yeah, yeah, tears yeah. yeah, definitely. Dexter's a strange character. I still can't work him out. Mm -hmm. I really think he's the only one that actually went in with a game plan. Yeah, yeah. So, Sally is totally hundred percent right. What? How she felt about Dexter? Because I can't work him out. And either. you know, he says he's got this girlfriend, but he made sexual passes at me. He's made Hazel feel uncomfortable. I think he made sexual passes at everybody. And <laughs> I, and personally, I think he's a gay man crying out no, to come out. Don't you, think, I don't you think? No. Well, I'm not in here. He ain't actually here, obviously, to defend himself. No, so. well, no, no, I'm not just saying. I know, it's your opinion, it's your opinion, but he's not No, he's defend, definitely but, bisexual. Again, he's he's bisexual. absolutely, he's got something in him. Hi, Dad, don't make me stamp my foot. <laughs> on Twitter. Vanessa Felt, it's, with your beautiful red dress, what is your question? Thank you very much. And you look gorgeous, and it's nice Thank to see you. Vanessa. But I, but I must ask this. You know, when, when Rylan asked the audience, do you think the right person came out, 100% of people said yes. And I've never seen that before. And I've really? been doing this show for years and years. And I wonder whether you've got any insight as to why. Why is it you? Why, why isn't it Dexter? Why is it you? What did you do wrong? It must have been something. Do you know, 
I am quite controlling and I think that offended quite a lot of people in the house and rubbed people up the wrong way maybe and they got offended by it and I did say that you know in in the sort of 15 second thing that if I have offended anybody and they perceive me in a different light you know then I apologize. It's all about being perceived but I mean you 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 often chose to say a confrontational, unpleasant, I'm outspoken, difficult and that's why but I haven't you watched the, the programme? Didn't you know that people would dislike it if you did that? No, I was just me, really. Jemima, that's people... exactly what I was going to say. Was I'm you just, just me. being yourself? Do you know, I was myself from the moment I went in to the moment I went out. And I think a lot of people in there have been fake. A lot of well, people personally, are... I think the fact that she was, you know, herself in there deserves a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, right, let's move it over to our beautiful audience. So, Karen, what's your oh, question? Oh, no, Hello, Karen. Hello, Karen. Hello, Karen. Hello, Karen. Hello, darling. Well done. Well done. Thank you. It's not nice coming out to booze, but we're loving you here. Karen, stop moving about. Oh, sorry. Up my nose again. I thought that was Jemima. a working whip you had there. <laughs> <laughs> Jemima, you're a really strong character, a really like, strong character person. Yeah. What do you think the other housemates thought about you? And secondly, who do you think's going to win? Ooh. Mm. Well, they, I mean, a lot of them voiced their opinions, a lot of them didn't, and I wish that, the, you know, the ones that didn't had sort of told me how they felt initially, but then, you know, that's obviously just them. There's a lot of gossip that goes on in the house. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, I know I'm controlling. I'm controlling on the outside. And that's obviously why I went in, because of the character that I am. Who do you think is going to win it? Uh, the twins. Wolfie. Yes. Wolfie. 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 Yeah, initially I thought Wolfie. Initially I even said to her, you know, you've got a strong chance of winning. And I know Sally and Wolfie were really close and she's really missing you. Okay. She really is. She really oh, is. Oh, yeah. I love him. He's turned on the first night when you went, she sat by your photo. It was so sad. I wanted to cry myself. Oh. Oh. But, okay. you know, and she's wearing your earring tonight and everything, even though she says it hurts her. But All right, this is too sludgy for me now. It's a, bit on, it's a bit on the side. Not arts of gold. Not arts of gold. Uh, thank you uh, for your question. Cheers, Karen, for your question. Uh, and remember, if you want to join this bunch of beauties... <laughs> Uh, I'm joking, I'm joking, I love you all. Uh, I want to be part of the audience, you can. All the details you need should be on the screen now, just like magic, it's, it's amazing. Uh, don't go anywhere, because coming up, Dan shows us his sausage. Woo! And Vanessa goes back to reality. I'll see you after this. Side, where every day we hide away from the main show and tell them it's part of a secret task. Shh! What's that secret of mine? Here's today's news. Have we got a scoop for you? Uh, this morning at 9.56am, Jackie Travers went for a run. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Dex. How are you? Did you sleep all right? You were no. tossing and turning a bit. Yeah, I yeah. slept like shit. I'm not surprised. Absolute shit. I buy her fitness DVD in an art day. I actually won't. Just like it. that. Just like that. Um, I quite fancy a sausage sandwich after watching that. Uh, but you can't take a sausage lightly, as Detective Dan found out earlier today in Sausage Gate. <gasps> Oh, yeah, they were left out, that's my point, but someone shouldn't have fucking had them. The yeah, sausages were left out. The sausages and bacon yeah. was out yeah. for today as well. I ate one of the sausages yesterday and it wasn't cooked, so I threw the other half of it away, the other one I left there. Why weren't we not supposed to eat them then? No, nah, they were meant to be for today. But well, there's not enough sausages today then, because those two got eaten, is there? You said there wasn't enough plates, so that would have been the other plate, do you know what I mean? So is there not enough plates then? I won't have a sausage today then, fucking hell. Oh, this house, your mood can change so fucking quickly. Fucking sausage. I don't give a shit. They weren't cooked yesterday anyway. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, I've been fucking moaned at because I ate a fucking half of sausage yesterday that was left over that wasn't even fucking cooked. Oh, fucking hell. This... I'm just said I don't even want anything now. I don't even give a shit. I'll have a yoghurt. <laughs> I, um, lost it over a sausage once. Look, everyone just needs to calm down, all right? Well, uh, Chill. well, listen, Wolfie's having none of it. At 11.45, <laughs> she started howling a big brother. How are you today? Um, 
I'm all right. I mean, as soon as you wake up, fucking hell, man, Dan always has something. He's just really abrasive, you know? Like, you get on the wrong side of him. Fuck my life. Apart from Dan, how are you getting on with the others? Uh, me and Charlie are going to have a chat of doom later because, um, obviously, you know, it really offended me um, that she kept dropping the F-bomb, the fat word. Um, and... You know, I even spoke to Hazel about it last night. She was like, oh, I've never called myself fat while I was in there. I was like, baby, did it, you know, yesterday. But what annoys me the most, BB, is they don't know what it's like to be, you know, fat. You know, they ain't never been fat. Then it just annoys me when people fling that word about carelessly, not even thinking that it affects other people like me, Joe and Jack. You know? Because we are fat. You know, I never been fat. <laughs> Well, the people's princess has spoken. She has, and she's going for it, babe. She's going for it. <laughs> and finally, we even locked a little treat just for you. In today's task, the housemates had to reveal their true opinions about each other, and Gina did not hold mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. No, this no, no. This is Big Brother. The following question is worth ten keys. Which of your fellow housemates have you gossiped about behind their back? And what did you say? <laughs> Okay, I've gossiped about Jemima. I'm really sorry, Jemima, but um, I've even felt a bit bad after, and um, we've had a few confrontations. I actually hated her, um, actually detested her, actually, in fact, and I wanted nothing to do with her, and um, I thought a lot of horrible, negative <laughs> things about her, and um, I felt like I was a little bit happy when she was up for nomination because... I thought finally she might be able to go. I've gossiped about Charlie, but that was when Charlie had asked me a question, which was very, very silly, and then I went out into the garden, and I even told her mum, I even told, like, a group of people that was out there, and I was really, really upset. Tina, you only need to say one name. <laughs> oh, was it just one name? <laughs> this just got real. <laughs> Uh, you can see the fallout of all of that on tomorrow night's main show at 8 45 pm. And that's the news. Yay! <laughs> now, we can go up to the reality gallery where our very own Vanessa Phelps is up there. What is the gossip, Vanessa Phelps? Well, I can tell you what's going on here, Rylan. It's post Jemima Armageddon. We've had Dexter crying. We've had oh, Daly what? saying, there, there, soothe down, brother, don't worry. Then we've had Dan taking the Raz big time out of Dexter crying. Does what that man. mean Dan is losing Tomorrow's it? Tomorrow's main show like is going to be great. I can sense it. What else has been going on? Well, down there's a there? conspiracy theory going around. The housemates are convinced there's going to be a new housemate thrust upon them. Will they like him or her? They're wondering. They're rather nervous. And Wolfie finally seems to have realised this is actually Big Brother and people do boo when you leave. She's horrified. She's shocked. <laughs> she can't believe it. She didn't realise it was a game that Duh. was so evil. I want Vanessa in the reality gallery every night. All the time. <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa. <laughs> Oh, oh, I love Vanessa Phelps. I love Vanessa Phelps. She needs to be so here every night. All the time. I feel really low next to you. I know. Why am I really low? Why are you really high? Because really tall. I'm so... Can I just say, what's going on here? Yeah. What's up, bitch? This is Ian, by the way. Hello, Ian. Right. Um, well, you look fantastic tonight. I've come into a bit of money recently, so you I'm thinking... You look like the Monopoly man mixed with you, Hef, no? You look like Johnny McCreary. Johnny McCreary. I've yeah. had that one before. <laughs> but, uh, Vanessa... Uh, Jemima. <laughs> I think in you and me, I've got a bit of money now. Do you, do you reckon we could, uh, you know? Hey, you're hey? not my type. Would yeah? you not like to play with his uh, sparkly ball. golden ball? Ball. <laughs> Stick. <laughs> <laughs> Sexy. Hey, Ian, what's been going on? We've got any questions for Jemima. Uh, Jemima, you were trending worldwide on Twitter earlier today. Yes, yes girl. Uh, We've got loads of questions from our adoring public. Uh, Dickie Doodah wants to know, oh, wow. uh, Callum says he wants to leave. If Charlie rejects him, do you think he'll walk? Callum said he wants to leave. Yeah, yeah. he said that in really? the show. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, I think Charlie's rejected him already anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, bad. because she, yeah, she wouldn't go into a relationship. She's just come out of one. She's never going to see anything and if between she, them, so... Definitely not. Not on Charlie's side. Callum, if she, you know, if she gave, you know, gave him the, the go-ahead, yeah. he would definitely go for it. Back in the bit, he would. Because he, yeah, he, he's trying to get into Hazel. He's rubbing everyone all seductively. He didn't, oh, wow. he didn't rub me, but that's Steady cool, because I didn't like him anyway. I'm sure Ian will, babe. What else have you got? What else have you got? <laughs> oh, Casual Jim, is the Secrets and Lies theme stopping housemates from relaxing and being themselves? Is the what, sorry? <laughs> the Secrets and Lies theme. Um, I think everyone <laughs> is so there. paranoid by yeah. the Secret and Lies. You come down from the diary room and they're like, what happened? Yeah. What did they say? 
It is and really everyone is just there. so paranoid by the whole... Paranoia, paranoia. The whole show. Paranoia. We've got time uh, for Rude boy wants to know, have you ever seen a Bigfoot? <laughs> <laughs> what? What was sort of that? Question? No, an abdominal snowman type thing. A mythical Why beast. Why would I have ever seen one of them? I don't know. It's, it's just, just a I don't, general like, I don't like the cold. OK. Mm. I prefer hot. That's a no, oh, she hasn't seen a big <laughs> Thank you very much, thank you. Uh, that's your lot for tonight. Big thanks to all of our guests. I'm back tomorrow night at 10pm for Bit on the Site with Ian Lee, Dr Funky and Jemima. This sexy Plus, lady. I will be supersizing up your Sunday at 12.55 in the afternoon with Sugar Babes and Mel and King of the Jungle, Joe Swan. I'm loving this monocle. We'll see you soon. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye.